Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with the Hive Hound and uh, today seems the new ranked season is kicked off I figured we'd talk about the last season a little bit and why I'm probably not going to bother making too much effort in rank 6 so as you can see in the last rank in season 4 uh, I had a 50% win rate with a average 1.9 warships destroyed, 92,000 damage, and 3,365 experience, which was incredibly frustrating, as I'm sure it is for many of you else out there. So I thought I'd just showcase a battle from rank 5, and maybe some of the strategies I generally use, depending on what ship I play, will... Uh, will help uh, improve the, the general level of gameplay in Ranked, because let's be honest, if you've been in Ranked, it's pretty trash. <laughs> the, uh, the quality of gameplay is quite bad. So what I do, I'm in the Arizona, uh, so I'm in a battleship. I will probably do one or two videos on uh, Season 5 as well, uh, but what I tend to do is look to position myself where I can cover A and B and C. At the beginning, and for some unknown reason, my presets. Oh no, I'm changing the voiceover because I want to actually hear what they're saying because we're in ranked. So I'm positioning myself in a position where I can fire on A and I can fire on B and C as well. And this is sort of key. I'm all oh right, I'm pushing a bit further in than I'd want to. Um, personally, if I'm playing a radar cruiser and only a radar cruiser. I would push A by myself, but I would hope one or two battleships hung back just in case. If you're on a radar cruiser, or if you come up against a cruiser, you know, it's a fair fight. You know, see what whatever happens, happens. Um, if there's a destroyer, you've got your radar, so you're going to win. And uh, if you're, um, uh, and obviously if a battleship comes up against you, well, ugh, you're starting to get in trouble territory then but that's why i like to try and keep myself into a position where i can assault both we can see here the majority are coming over to a and b so we're going to push in further and uh try and that uh, try and if there's a destroyer about i'll kill that first if not first target to cruisers because one they're easy to take out and two they can surprisingly rack up a lot of damage. They don't have that one-shot insta-kill uh, power of a battleship. But in between your salvos, they'll rack up just as much damage as you can do to them. And uh, fortunately for that Johnny, he was being uh, quite uh, uh, fiddly and uh, managed to knock us off course with our shots. But as you can see, the destroyer there asking for assistance, asking for people to shoot at them. Can't like, haven't seen a single shell hit in his way. Uh, he went in the smoke, so I assumed he was going to disappear, so I was going to turn to uh, continue firing on this Johnny, but uh, he did actually stay appeared. We're also turning away from him at the same time, because the last thing I want to do is get torpedoed. And there we go. Boom. Kill number one. Devastating strike. And first blood. Although it didn't give us first blood. Oh, no, we'd lost one on our team that's why we didn't get a first blood so uh this pensacola's hiding behind this island here and we're at uh, we're getting all our guns ready hoping to finish them off looking at our other available targets the bayon's quite broadside but oh if that pensacola just pushes out a little bit we've got a shot on him so we don't seem to have much of that much many other options other than to fire at the bayon at this point Uh, I was originally going to title this Dragging Them to Victory, Kicking and Screaming. And, well, I still might. <laughs> so, we've done a respectable 50,000 damage already. We've got one out of the two kills that our team has achieved. And we're, we were, we were up by one ship. We're now on an equal footing. Two ships either side lost. But uh, we're going to... We're going to continue to track this Bayern because he is low health now. We've managed to uh, 
cut him down significantly. So hopefully we can get him out of the match. And ah, we left him, left him in his underpants. He's got nothing left but a speed one. <laughs> So uh, my plan now is is definitely to push. Their destroyer's been killed, thankfully, and uh, we're gonna try and well, we've got nothing. We've got nothing to fear now. So when you've got nothing, when you've got no destroyers around in the battleship, start making that push forward. It's it's stupid not to. You're just keeping yourself out of the battle and uh, stopping yourself from doing any more damage. And basically becoming useless to your team. I understand the threat of destroyers can uh, can make people a bit apprehensive to push and that's fully understandable but the destroyer's gone so let's just go and kill him. Obviously that Bayon has now used his repair kit and well he's, he's, he's running away he's heading for the hills. The uh, Pensacola did pop out and have a little look at us he took a cheeky shot and then uh, bravely retreated back behind that island which in all fairness from his position is exactly the right thing uh you know you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna kill an arizona in uh in a uh pensacola not to you know 10 kilometers it's uh, it's only gonna cause you more pain So uh, we chuck our plane out here just because that Pensacola is hiding behind that island and trying to track him for our destroyer. And this is where he makes the fatal mistake of uh, trying to kill my crew, trying to kill my destroyer. Which he succeeded in doing, unfortunately, but we pick up a kill. So he's down. That is our, was that our second or third kill of the match? That was our second kill. So, now, well, what's the only sensible thing to do? Cap, because points, seriously, the, the caps make such a colossal difference in this game. And when you see people not capping, when the, the cap's open, it's free. We've killed everything or uh, anything near it, like that fire has ran away. So, why the heck wouldn't we push? And uh, we're looking for a reasonably long range shot on this Graf Spee here. Although, in all fairness, it probably wasn't the best target. We should have focused on the ones in front of us. But we pick up a Citadel and, uh, uh, on a high caliber award. <laughs> but uh, one of our teammates picks up the kill. So uh, we can continue now with our push. Uh, we have a Lagasse Sonier. He's at range. Uh, he's 13 kilometers away. So we don't have to worry about torpedoes. Uh, coming from him uh, but well of course he's going to aggravate us with fire as much as he possibly can so just because he's annoying us and uh, well we haven't got a direct line on sight on anything else we're going to uh, yeah that's right <laughs> get fucked <laughs> we're going we're gonna to fire his salvo and hopefully our rear guns will finish him off now uh, how lucky is he how, how on earth did he manage to get away with that? Right, okay, so now the Normandy's decided to put his big boy pants on and he's gonna pop out. And there's, the, look at him. Look at that like, gas on here. He must have a couple of hundred hit points left. In fact, it's gonna be less than a thousand. Let's see when we, if we hit him. Ah, just over a thousand hit points. And he's gone. He's out of there. He's no longer a threat. So now, this is infuriating. So it's clear that all the ships are here. It's been clear for a while where uh, where all the ships were since we started our engagement with uh, with the Legasse on here. And yet, oh, I, I do have one of my teammates up pushing me. The two of them, they're just sitting back. What are they doing over there? I'm not entirely sure. The Graf Spee, which was the last ship over there, has been an issue for a long while. And there we go, we pick up our Confederate medal, scoring 813,000 damage. So, uh, we're, we're still focusing on the Normandy because uh, 
and uh, fire keeps on uh, disappearing on us. And the Normandy's giving us uh, quite a tasty looking broadside, which uh, unfortunately we don't manage to maximize on. And uh, you can see, I notice uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not giving him quite enough lead, so we adjust slightly and score some better damage that time. <clears throat> And, oh, am I going to reverse out of the cap? I did reverse out of the cap, but we're going to push back in our cruisers with us. Iron's decided uh, to turn around and come back. He wants, uh, he wants a piece of us. Full shot does absolutely nothing. He looks like he's going to run into the island, so I slow down, adjust my aim, wait for him to land, and there we go. And, and that is going to be kill number four, I think. There we go. He is gone. He is out of there. And uh, unfortunately, well, I thought this match ended here. No, we've got a couple of... We've got a little while longer yet. We're going to continue to... Uh, we're going to try and reverse, trying to get ourselves back in a position to kill the Dunkirk. But we are going to safely cap uh, C. So that is A, B and C all under our control and well it's it's just a, an exercise in time now. What happens first? Are we going to hit a thousand hit points or is that Normandy going to eat a whole bunch of citadels? Uh, that is the only question. Uh, we are quite granted we probably didn't need to use our heal but just in case we still had two left at this point in the match so uh why not? So as you can see, we're backing up, we're tracking our guns, we're looking out for that annoying mountain symbol to go, so uh, we can uh, fire a salvo. I got a bit frustrated, and as soon as I fire, I literally fire into the mountain, because we all know how much I love mountains, and as soon as I do that, the mountain symbol disappears, and we get a salvo away. Okay, no citadels that time. Come on, Normandy, lift up that skirt. Show me that sweet, sweet broadside so we can finish you off. Ooh, and he takes a couple of nasty hits from uh, one of my teammates. There's us on a hundred and thirty-seven thousand damage in ranked battles. This is ridiculous. And the match ends because we hit a thousand points. And this is why it's frustrating because this was okay, a little bit better than my average match, but th this is how it's been. And uh, sort of carrying teammates you can see the two ships that were left alive on my team didn't do much yes i'm in a premium so it gains a little bit more xp but not double second place so uh, i hope you enjoyed that video hope you paid attention to the tactics uh right at the start because i really want to see uh people liking ranked battles a bit more instead of being really salty about their awful teammates and you just got to make sure you're in a position to support everyone and you use your ship to the best of its abilities get yourself like i said if you're in a battleship get try and get yourself in a position if you're in an american battleship at least where you have the range and the accuracy get yourself in a position where you can support the two same thing could be said for the russian cruisers the long wing cruisers but your radar so if you're a radar ship and you're confident go to a go after that solo cap and if you're a destroyer well you need to go to b and c then you need to get in there mix it up and fire as many torpedoes as you possibly can so hope you all enjoyed the video and found it informative and until next time take care